Good morning and welcome back. It's now 949. We're helping you make the most of your spring and summertime, especially during this quarantine. While you spend extra time with the family, it's the perfect time to start your own butterfly garden. Joining me live at the Butterfly Habitat in Mandarin is Ace Hardware's Garden Center Director, Lisa Harrison. Lisa, good morning to you. Good morning. How's everybody doing over there? So far, everyone here in studio is doing great. It looks like you're doing great this morning. The sun is shining I, and you're in a garden. Uh, well, I am. I'm in the Butterfly <laughs> Garden here at uh, Hagen Ace Hardware in Mandarin. Um, I love it is that. quite a beautiful day out here. It really is. Yeah, what's and going on I, there I, today? Well, I, what I want to do is talk to some folks about doing some container gardening. A lot of people are staying home right now, and I think it's a great project to do as a family, and it's a great project to do as a gift for somebody that is coming up as a mom or is a mom. Um, basically, there's a couple of things you need to do to get started in a container garden. One of the things is where am I going to put this thing and what am I going to plant it in? The important fact is, is that you have drainage in any of your containers that you use. And it could be barrels. It could be old bathtubs. It could be anything that you want it to be as long as it has drainage. Um, secondly, where are we going to set this? In the full sun, in the shade, or on our dining room table? Anything can be a container garden. Uh, we have planted up just about everything here in Mandarin, including toilets. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started with that. Um, we have done a couple of container gardens here. There's three key words that you use when you're building a container garden. Filler, thriller, and spiller. And all of these words, have they do exactly what they say. The thriller is basically your centerpiece. It thrills everybody, and it calls them right to the container, say, hey, I'm over here, and I'm beautiful. The filler fills in the gaps around the outer side so you cannot see the dirt in the container. And the spiller does exactly that. Spills over the side like a waterfall effect. Um, once this all grows in, you get something like a container garden that's right here. We don't want to, um, that's been put together already for you. Uh, the other thing that we need to think about is, again, where are we going to set it? Um, who's going to water it? Because there's no sense in planting it up if you cannot keep it alive. Uh, a good part of having a container garden is you can put it anywhere in your yard, your patio. It's a great way for those of you that live in apartments to, to use on your front porch or on your back deck. Um, and then when things start kind of declining, eventually you can just continue to keep it beautiful by pulling stuff out of the container and replacing it. You can even do vegetable gardens in a container. Um, the other part is we're going to talk about pollinators. Here in the butterfly garden where I'm standing, uh, these are all butterfly plants that attract butterflies and bees and hummingbirds. Why do we need pollinators? Well, for one, the food chain is a big important part of it, but that's what keeps your gardens thriving, your flowers blooming, your vegetables producing. If you don't have pollinators, it will be less and less and less, and you'll be failing. So not only does that help the ecosystem, it also increases the population if you're doing a butterfly garden because we do not want the species to get extinct. Right. Um, we here in Mandarin have cages. If five of our garden shops for Hagen Ace have butterfly cages now, soon to be every single one of them. Um, so have any questions? Yeah, Lisa, so many benefits. You touched upon everything. I was just curious if it was at all possible for us to see one of these containers that perhaps is sitting in front of you. I'm not sure who's behind the camera, but if they could just tilt it down and show us what one of these containers looks like that you have in front of you. Um, no problem. Can you pan over here um, to see <laughs> this? Now, this one has a lot of thriller in it. Right, um, yeah. They have planted it up. Um, the, there's a lot of salvias and taller stuff. You have to kind of watch some of your salvias because a lot of these butterfly plants get very big, and they will take over. Um, but they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You can use milkweed. You can use a milkweed in your butterfly container gardens. But I will tell you, within two weeks, that milkweed is going to go away because the caterpillar, yeah. the monarch caterpillar, yeah. is going to eat it down to a bare minimum. Yeah. Um, but you're you're helping the environment. Um, by doing that. Absolutely. Some people will, 
Yeah, yeah absolutely, Lisa. You've been so informative this morning. Let me ask you this right before we let you go because we're out of time. For more information on these butterfly gardens or for more information on what it is that you're talking about, where can people go? Um, to our website at Mandarin Garden Shop at Haganace.com. Um, we, we answer all questions, or you, you can go directly to the Haganace.com. They will forward me any emails that you have questions about. Lisa, you have been and so I've, informative and so helpful this morning. We appreciate all the information I, that you've been giving I us. I appreciate the opportunity. And you guys take care. Have a great Mother's Day. And thank you for shopping at Ace. Lisa, thank you. We're back right after this.